update on uh, the monitoring and compliance activities. So it continues to be you know, an active area, but overall we're seeing really quite good compliance. The other thing that I just want to mention, you know, questions are starting to come up about um, what would reopening um, look like? And I think the very short answer to that is um, we don't yet know what reopening is going to look like. Um, you know, I think the Premier was quite careful on Monday uh, in his comments about reopening, that this is going to be phased, incremental, gradual, and locally, we're going to have to take our lead and direction from the province. You know, through this whole response phase, the province has been quite directive. Uh, they've issued emergency orders that we and everyone else has had to comply with. So it's quite possible that that might be their approach to the recovery phase as well, that they be quite directive. And then basically we're following the provincial direction. Um, if they do provide some local latitude, then obviously we'll have to work with all our local partners to make appropriate decisions while informed by, by public health. Um, so, um, you know, rest assured that um, this organization, the region, uh, many community partners are starting to turn our minds to what will reopening look like, but we will have to wait on direction from the province uh, to make any real firm decisions. Rogers TV will have COVID-19 updates as they come out. Stay tuned to Channel 20 to stay informed about the situation in the area. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Stay safe. This program is brought to you by Ignite TV. Now you're in command. Visit rogers.com for more details. Call the Rogers TV viewer response line, email us, or connect with us on social media. Two dead in Grand Lake Mass. You okay? You think they're connected? We are talking about a massacre of innocent people here. It's our first Halloween since we started. We can't just sit at home. How bad's my rig? Ten. We drilled to the bottom of the ocean, and we don't know what came out. Dear everybody, you'll see thousands of images today. Here are three you won't see. A girl who uses a walker eating ice cream with her friends. A young woman with a prosthetic leg modeling the latest denim trends. A kid who uses a wheelchair busting a dance move. You're influenced by the images you see and the ones you don't. It's time to include disability in the picture. Sign Hall & Blurview's Dear Everybody Agreement and help create a world without stigma for kids and youth with disabilities. Visit DearEveryBody.ca. Find out what's trending. Join me, Aliyah Ali, as I explore Waterloo Region and beyond, looking for trendy ideas. Hashtag trending, Thursdays at 7 p.m., only on Rogers TV. This is Rogers TV. It's me, Giovanni Petiti, and this is the RTV Quiz Show. If you've never heard of this show, I got one question for you. When did you get out on parole? This is the reason why people are still happy about the whole quarantine situation. This is the biz we make a hot, the most fun you can have in a half an hour and not get arrested. This is unbelievable, folks. This is, I got to tell you right now, this is the almost uh, the most honest show on television. I'm going to tell you right now. Okay, number one, if you folks listen to me, I know what you're thinking, right? That's true. I need a haircut. I need a shave. 
But more importantly, I need your RTV quiz show love, okay? Unless it, that's going to cost two ninety nine a minute because now apparently my wife checks the visa bills. You can only call the 1-900 weather channel so often. Anyway, th this is, I need your RTV quiz show love. What I need you to do is join me on the Twitter, on the Insta scam, on the Facebook, on everything, and tell all your friends what a great time you're having on this show because, I listen, your feedback has been incredible. Every time I go to the email, I, I, I get this warm feeling. I get inside my heart, usually when I drink too much scotch, but this is way better. I am so excited. We're going to get through this difficult time together, but apart, all right? <laughs> I think my junior prom date uh, was the first one to quiz it. Now, this is a big shout out because I'm getting this. Will Mott, no, no N, Will Mott. Will Mott is a town in the Giovanni and Me Rogers TV quiz show family who've given me so much incredible feedback. All the people, they're great. I got to tell you right now, I think I like them better than the people from New Hamburg. I'm just, I'm just saying because the, the, the love is right off the chart, these people. All right? So this show is dedicated to them. I got the, uh, the Will Mott, the Will Mont, the Will, the Will Mont, uh, official headgear. This is why uh, this is why the big shout out to them. All right, I love you guys and nobody else. Let me change the name of your town because it's difficult for for pronunciation. All right, folks, here we go. Round one, one, one. The category is the environment. Now, since this lockdown, I got to tell you, the big winner of all this is the environment. The environment, especially squirrels. I notice the squirrels are very happy because usually squirrels are nature's speed bumps, but now there's no traffic, so <laughs> they're happy. They're a little nuts, but they're happy. All right, here we go, folks. Question number one. What Canadian landmark sees a flow of 750,000 gallons of water per second? Not my bathroom. I fixed it, buddy. Number two. Which mountain chain would you find Mount Everest? from the tallest mountain in the world. What is the name of the mountain chain it's found in? Chain. Chain of mountains. People, people in Wilmont love it when I sing. What is the driest populated continent on Earth? It's not Utah, because it's not a continent. What is the driest continent on Earth that's populated? Two or four. What is the largest freshwater lake in the world? The largest freshwater lake in the world. Number five. What American state did the Exxon Valdez oil spill occur? No, Carla, it's not Greece. It's not. That's. I know it. The clue might be in it, but it's not. It's not as really a state either, Greece. All right, this category, folks, is fun and games. Fun and games, because you know what? Everybody's now playing games. Uh, you know, family time, because we're all locked up together. And hey, pff, you know, that's what could bring a family closer together than a nice, friendly game of Monopoly, right? Because that always ends great. <laughs> all right. Speaking of Monopoly, what two properties are the cheapest in Monopoly? What? It's another fun fact that only one company makes Monopoly. Hashtag not that ironic. Question number seven. In what game might you peg out? P-E-G, peg out. Married with children? Question number eight. Eight, Ocho, eight. Which of the following is not a suspect in the game of Clue? Is it Mr. Green, Professor Plum, or Lieutenant Lemon? You know that answer, Carla? Oh, newsflash, Carla does not have a clue. Number nine. What color is the six ball in billiards? 
Carla just said exactly the same as a nine ball. It's, 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 that's Carla, there's two nine balls in eight ball. All right, question 10, 10, 10. All right, now this question, folks, this, and, uh, this is a, uh, this question comes, it's about Scrabble and it comes uh, with a serious warning, okay? Uh, apparently, usually Scrabble is a fun family game, you know, fun for the whole family. But there's a big news uh, article, I don't know if you caught it. During this quarantine, a five-year-old boy ate seven Scrabble tiles. And uh, uh, nobody knows how it's going to turn out, but it could spell disaster. Okay, question number 10. In the scheme of Scrabble, how many points is a letter Z worth? Or Z? Although nobody calls it a Z, bra. Just say. All right, folks. All right, folks. It's time for the round one. Round one. Round one. Answers. Which Canadian landmark uh, with the what? Niagara Falls. Huh? Niagara Falls. It's not just about the wax museum. Although, have you seen the wax Paris Hilton? It's hot. Not that hot because she could melt, but still. Number two. Mount Everest is found in the Himalayas mountain chain. Himalayas mountain chain. All right, number three, this is very important. Some people, if you put Antarctica, then you're an idiot. Because I said populated, okay? Clearly said populated. The driest continent is Australia. I know, they drink a lot of beer there, I don't get it. But they don't have a lot of rain. Number four, number four, the largest freshwater lake in the world, Lake Superior. Huh? Number five, what American state? Exxon Valdez, Alaska. I don't know. It's up there. Everybody forgets about it. Round two. Round two. Round two. Answers. Are you going to put graphics, right? Because then I'm going to just look like an idiot. Going, we're going to do something. All right. All right, fun and games. The two uh, cheapest properties are a Baltic Ave and Mediterranean Avenue. That's where they put... Mediterranean. That's where they put all the paisans on it. I, don't want, I grew up in a very tough Italian middle-class neighborhood. We used to call it the Spaghetto. Number seven. All right. When what game might you peg out? It's cribbage. If you got this question right, congratulations on your 83rd birthday. Question eight. Which of the following is not a suspect in the clue? It's uh, Lieutenant Lemon. Like that too. There's no, uh, there's no Pisons in this, uh, in this game, eh? Yeah. There's no Captain Luigi. I know it's that kind of. Question number nine. What color is the number six billiard ball green? And how many points is the letter Z worth? Ten. Huh? How'd you do, folks? After the first two rounds, let me know. Put it on the Instagram. Put it on the, the Twitter. Don't forget the hashtag RTV quiz and the at RTV quiz. All right? This is Vent. Don't go away. Send me a picture for crying out loud. So I, don't, I know I'm not doing this alone in my face. We'll be back right after this. This program is brought to you by Ignite TV. Now you're in command. Visit rogers.com for more details. It's National Volunteer Week, and Rogers TV would like to applaud all of our amazing volunteers. For all that you do, thank you. Hey, Gabe, we're supposed to be at City Hall. We're gonna build it right here. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. And give wetsuits to all the visitors? <laughs> no, on the water. Hey, come on, we're talking about building something the size of 64 city blocks. And there's no land left in Montreal. So, get serious. Listen, we'll build islands. How? Dig up Montreal? <laughs> <laughs> They're digging a subway, remember? You take it from there, and you put it here. Twelve months and 25 million tons of fill later, 
St. Helens Island was reshaped and Eel Notre Dame was created. Come on, we don't want to keep Mayor Drapa waiting, do we? Montreal's Expo 67. It would prove to be the most successful World's Fair of the 20th century. I'm Mallory, and I was walking home one night when an impaired driver hit me. He had been overserved in two bars before getting behind the wheel. If the servers would have called him a cab instead of serving him more alcohol, my life would be the same as what it used to be. I think servers play the biggest role in keeping us safe because it's up to them what state the person's in when they leave. Refusing service isn't personal, it's the law. Folks, welcome back to part two of the RTV Quiz Show. It's an incredible show. It's all the fun and excitement of regular quiz, but with just more unique prizes. Okay, now, folks, we got a lot of flack with some of the, the low-quality prizes that, that, that we had here on the show. Now, this is not like uh, the price is right. You know, you, 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 you win the one round, and you've got a nice living room set, and then you win the, the, the big thing, and you get, like, a car and a trip to, like, Hawaii, and then you come back for – another five times and you win the state of Nevada. Well, this is a Canadian TV show. So like definition, remember that? Definitions. Definitions. Uh, you win like a, if you're on that show for 78 times in a row, all time champion, you get a brother typewriter. Show, show a picture of the brother typewriter because the young kids, they don't, but that was a great gift back in the day. But this is not even a Canadian gift. This is a Canadian cable quiz show so our prize is budget but listen we broke the vault we got something exciting okay paramount pictures has just come out with this the remake of the invisible man and this is going to be fantastic for anybody who likes to collect movie paraphernalia this is going to only going to go up in value so invisible man i have an uh, i have an autographed picture of the invisible man right here this is fantastic uh, it's autographed you can't tell because it's an invisible ink as well but the Folks, this is this only going to go up in value, okay? What you need to do this is you have to tweet out something about the show or on Instagram, at RTV Quiz down at the bottom. You do that, and you're eligible to win this incredible prize. All right, round two. Let's go. Two. This category is history, folks. Oh, don't oh, change the channel. It's going to be good. History. Okay, here we go. Napoleon's rule as Emperor of France ended shortly. True. True. There's more to the question? Okay. Napoleon's rule as Emperor of France ended shortly after his defeat at, at this battle in 1815. 1815 had a battle. He lost. And everybody said, Napoleon who? Number 12. Which of the following inventions was first patented? Okay. Was it the rubber band? The cash register, chewing gum, or a dishwasher? Out of all those inventions, which ones got a patent first? In what city did American colonists famously, famously dump an entire shipment of tea into the harbor? What city was that? They dumped the tea. Number 14, what was the name of the Soviet satellite that was the first to be launched into space in 1957. What was the name of the satellite? And a Russian name. Question 15. All right. Thank you. Question 15. What monarch of the Zulu kingdom was assassinated by his half-brother? This question was rejected on Jeopardy! It was too hard for Jeffrey. All right, folks, round four. First, a small joke. A hot dog, a hamburger, and a slice of pizza walk into a bar. The bartender says, hey, 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 we don't serve food here. Speaking of food and pizza, our next topic is pizza. That's called a segue. And if you do it perfect, no one even notices if you do it so perfectly, just how I did it. What meat topping is featured in over 36% of all pizzas in the United States? Number 17, number 17. 
I refuse to, I refuse, I refuse to ask this question. I want, I want my agent and my lawyer on the phone. I'm not, not doing this. Under protest, here's question 16. What country was Hawaiian pizza invented in? In what country was Hawaiian pizza invented? Crime. It's a crime! Number 18. In the movie Home Alone, what style of pizza was the favorite of Kevin McAllister? The Home Alone. They got like four home... Home Alone, which, I don't know, was five Home Alone movies? You'd think someone would uh, basically call the Child Protective Services on his family. Oh, we left Kevin home again for the fifth time. What fresh herb is used as a topping on a margarita pizza? Which topping? What distant location did Pizza Hut deliver a six-inch salami pizza to in 2001 what distant location did pizza hut delivered his pizza to okay folks it's time for round three round three answers let's see how you did napoleon's uh, battle that he lost was a battle of waterloo waterloo baby that's a that, that waterloo if you're an abba fan you would know that waterloo which of these inventions was uh, first the rubber band? Yeah, the rubber band was patented, and then about uh, 20 minutes later, they patented the phrase, hey, hey, stop that. You're going to poke somebody's eye out with that thing. Number 13. What city did they dump the tea? Huh? Boston. 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 Home of the 16th best team in NHL. Number 14, the name of the satellite, Sputnik. Number 15, all right, the monarch of the Zulu kingdom that was assassinated by his half-brother. Ready? His name was Saka Zulu. Saka Zulu, like Zaka, Zaka, that's Zaka Khan. That's <laughs> a different sound. If you got that right, you're too smart for this show. All right, round four, round four answers. Let me see how you're doing. After this, you're going to tweet this out to me for sure. Here it goes. What meat topping over 36% of pepperoni? Pepperoni. I don't know what they do for vegetarians, Carla. Italian people generally are not vegetarians. Vegetarian comes from the Italian word for very poor hunter. So I don't know what to tell you. What country invented the Hawaiian pizza? You're never going to get this, folks. Canada. I know. Betrayed me. I just took the knife out of my back. Canada. The true North strong and lame the, the, the Hawaiian pizza. The kid, the Home Alone kid, his favorite uh, the cheese pizza. I know, I know what you're saying. The guy lives in a $3 million mansion, but he can only afford the cheese pizza. God bless him there. Uh, the ingredient on the margarita pizza, what is that at? It's basil. Okay, this the longest delivery for the pizza. How, where'd they go? The International Space Station. Folks, that's it. We're going to take a break. Don't go away. Don't change the channel. Let me know how you're doing, and we'll be right back. There's nothing else on TV. I'll get the dog after you. You change the channel. specific about the heroes and zeros but our protagonist is a hungry animal there's only one rule in this jungle when the lion's hungry he eats i am going to invest in your company she ripped us off she ain't getting away with this 
You remind me of myself. Oh. When I was whiny and weak and lame. If you have questions about the COVID-19 outbreak, visit the Region of Waterloo, Huron Public Health, Wellington Dufferin Guelph Public Health, and Brant County Health Unit for the most accurate and up-to-date information. Ontario 211 is also a resource you can contact. If you are in a mental health crisis, please call HERE 24-7 at 1-844-437-3247. Do not call 911 unless you have an emergency. Hi, I'm Dave Carroll, host of Brant Life. Join me every Monday and Thursday at 6 p.m. for a brand new show featuring you and your stories and the things you care about right here on Brant Life on Rogers TV. It's National Volunteer Week and Rogers TV would like to applaud all of our amazing volunteers. For all that you do, thank you. Uh, welcome back. I knew you were going to come back. You can't get in. This is the crack cocaine of TV quiz shows. You're addicted. Forget about it. All right? Just sit back, relax, enjoy yourself. This is the final round. A little round I like to call round five. All right, folks, this is about movies. A lot of people are watching a lot of movies. They're down in the lockdown, shutdown, quarantine. Okay, folks, and I also understand on a related subject that they're talking about a possible baby boom after this quarantine because, you know, but if you already have kids, uh, like in my house, basically, if, if my quarantine had a movie title, it would be Debbie Does Nothing. Here we go. Name the movie. This quote is from year 21. All of all the gin joints and all the towns and all the world, she walks into mine. What movie is that from? Number 22. I'm serious. And don't call me Shirley. Obviously, a movie with Shirley in it. I was told to read this exactly how it, how it was written and do not give any clues. So here it goes. But I'm funny how? I mean, funny like I'm a clown? I amuse you? I make you laugh? This is a uh, it's not my wedding video. It's not. <laughs> the honeymoon director's cut number 24 a liger it's like a lion and a tiger mixed bred for its skills and magic okay i'm gonna tell you now it's not the tiger king the answer to every question from now on in the history of the world is the tiger king it's killing me in the ratings over here I'll spoil it. Hey, I'll spoil alert, Tiger King. Everybody dies at the end. And he's not really a king. Number 25. Number 25. And don't forget, I'm also just a girl standing in front of a boy asking him to love her. My testosterone just dropped 14 points after reading that, that quote. All right, that's it, folks. All right, it's got the answer. This is the bonus round. Every question is worth double, double points. Okay, here we go. Number 21, that's Casablanca. Oh, the gin joints. Yeah, Casablanca. That's right. Number 22, a movie is Airplane. Huh? Airplane. It's got O.J. Simpson in it. O.J. Simpson is, uh, he's, he's mad because they might uh, 
Twitter might cancel his – he's got a Twitter account where he gives football tips like for betting. And apparently uh, he took the uh, – the, the Denver Ford Broncos – over the San Francisco 49 stab wounds. So, number 23. I make you laugh. I amuse you. Come on, that's good fellas. A little hard because a lot of mob movies you get mixed up. Good fellas. <laughs> Joe Pesci. Number 24. A liger. Now that it's Napoleon Dynamite. If you got that right, you should get 700 extra bonus points because you are cool. I sure love that movie, best movie. Napoleon Dynamite. P.S. Go for Patreon. Number 25. Uh, don't forget, I'm just a boy standing in front of a girl, standing in front of a... Okay, whatever. Notting Hill. It would say, see, guys, if you're been out of the dating game for a while don't if you've been married for like more than 10 years this is a movie you would have taken your girlfriend to to watch because you were so desperate for any kind of action <laughs> that's low point how'd you do huh and most importantly i want to know how i did did you have fun did you like you like the show please let me know on the, all the social media stuff you can also go to www.rogerstv.com slash rtv quiz show you can see a repeat to the show you can have a lot of fun and you can leave some viewer feedback folks i gotta tell you i can't tell you how happy i am to be here with you for this half an hour but it's a half an hour i'm not spending with my wife till next time I love you and nobody else. Stay safe, people. Call the Rogers TV viewer response line, email us, or connect with us on social media. week and Rogers TV would like to applaud all of our amazing volunteers for all that you do thank you at st. John ambulance we're all about community we teach life-saving skills and provide community support through our volunteer services all st. John ambulance product sales and training registrations support these important services volunteer donate or enroll in a program today so we can continue to have an impact on our community visit sja.ca to learn more at st john ambulance we do more than save lives we change lives COVID 19 safety tips 